Have you ever been in a relationship with a woman who, when the relationship is going smooth, everything is going well, out of nowhere, she just kind of brings up a conflict or there's some type of issue that gets her upset out of nowhere. Everything seems to be going fine and then all of a sudden she just finds something to complain about. What's up, Brodies? Welcome to The Bourbon Effect. My name is Tunji, and you already know what it is, so let's talk. Before I get into the video, if you have not hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. We are on the path to 1,000 subscribers. We are almost there. Just need you guys to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can know every single time that I post. And yeah, let's get right into the video. So today we're going to be talking about why you should never try to change a woman. All right. This is very important. And I thought this was important because recently, you know, I was going through my phone and there was just something that kind of triggered this in the back of my mind. I remembered some of the things that I went through with uh, my ex. I won't mention what specific or which specific ex it was. Seriously? But it kind of made me remember a lot of the things that I went through with her. You know, I, I'm still cordial with most of my exes and everything. Some of them I don't talk to, but this is just a topic that I felt was very important for me to let you guys know about. Cause I do feel like most men will go through this at least once. And hopefully you learn from your mistakes and you're not repeating the same mistakes. But as men, we have this primal nature to want to fix things. Whenever there is a problem, we want to solve it. It's just like a primal nature in us. We like to solve things, uh, especially whenever it comes to uh, family members or anything in general. We just like to fix things. We like to solve things. If there's any problem or question, we like to look for the solution for it, okay? And unfortunately, sometimes we can apply this primal instinct towards the wrong thing, e.g. women. Okay. And the reason why you guys never want to do this is because what you need to understand about women is that whoever they show you, they are, you have to believe it. Some of us are in a point in our lives where we are feeling lonely. And some of us are a little bit desperate to be with somebody and have a companion because we just don't want to be lonely anymore. And because of that, even though we see some of the red flags and some of the flaws that we see in some of these women, we kind of push it to the side or we ignore it because we just want to be with somebody. And as much as I can understand the sentiment, that is the worst thing that you will ever do, especially when it comes to being in a relationship with that type of woman. Guys, have you ever noticed that whenever you're with a specific woman, she will kind of vent to you about some of the things about her exes or her ex, how her ex did this. And, you know, she has trauma for her from her ex and, you know, different things like that, where a lot of the issues that came about in her last relationship. Well, yo, my girl keeps bringing up her ex. What, what do you mean bringing him up? Like saying, oh, I'm so happy you're not like him. He's such a loser. You treat me so much better. Why don't you guys do a science project on him? Wait, what? Yeah, man, make a pro and cons chart and just talk all night about him. Hey, I'm just, I'm happy I'm just better than him. This relationship is about you and her, not her ex. Huh. And the fact that she keeps bringing him up, yeah, means she's not over him yet, but she's with me. Let me ask you something, okay? You guys are having a core moment, right? The wind is blowing, the stars are out. You guys have champagne, it's a beautiful night. Oh, it sounds nice. Yeah, it's nice, and she looks over at you. Uh-huh. And she says, wow, you're so much better than my ex. <gasps> you're a person, not a replacement. And now, you wanna be the savior. You wanna be the person that changes her perception about men, about relationships. You wanna let her know that, hey, I'm different. I am here for you. I'm not going to be like him. I'm going to be different. I'm going to show you how much I truly love you. All right. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you are currently doing that, or if you are currently going through this, you need to stop now and move on. 
my time has come. You must continue your journey without me. Okay? Because at the end of the day, it is not your responsibility to make up for something that somebody else did when you had nothing to do with that at all. You have to understand that when you're in a relationship with somebody, there has to be some type of growth from them. See, if you hear things like, oh, my ex did this, my ex did that, I have trauma, uh, you know, I have certain traumas that I've been through and this and that, and she has not resolved those traumas, and you are trying to be Captain save a hoe and trying to, you know, uh, kind of build this type of aura for her to show her like, I'm different. I am not that guy. You are going to be in a miserable relationship in the near future. Oops, Nick Cannon, Neo, and Godfrey say they changed after realizing women don't like good guys. Women don't like good people. Women like chaos. That's one thing I've learned about women. You got Neo saying, why is that? Why is that? I'm going to break it down for y'all. Women love chaos. They are used to it. Women are used to the emotional climaxes and up and downs in relationships. So they prefer emotional up and downs. They prefer roller coaster rides. They don't prefer smooth sailing. It's boring to them. That's just the facts. They're used to toxic shit from the previous relationships. They used to get beat. <laughs> They're used to getting beat in, in after. So they don't give a fuck to have no good guy or a good woman or a good person in their life. You feel me? All they gonna do is frame the situation to be toxic so that y'all can start getting into it so they can have those emotional up and downs in a relationship. And she wants to cause you emotional up and downs. So that good guy, good woman should be out the window. That is why. And let me tell you why. Because if you're with a woman who has not taken any accountability for any of the things that has happened in her past relationship, there is a high possibility that she's going to bring that in her new relationship. And you're going to see that no matter how many times you try to show her or prove to her that, hey, I'm different. Hey, I love you. Hey, this. Hey, that. It's not going to click in her brain. And she's going to repeat the same mistakes that she made in her last relationship in this current one because in her mind she didn't do anything wrong in the last relationship there's nothing that she did that she added in that relationship that caused it to crumble or that caused it to falter so naturally what happens they repeat the same thing in the new relationship and you have to understand when people are showing you who they truly are you have to believe them don't be desperate enough to take in somebody because you don't want to be lonely, because you don't want to be by yourself. Guys, I guarantee you, being lonely and being at peace is far more better, far more better than being in a relationship and being miserable. Because you're going to learn that no matter how much you try to be there for this person, those traumas that she went through in her last relationship, unless she has resolved them, unless she has done some type of uh, she's grown or went to therapy for it or resolved it in any type of way, she's going to repeat the same thing and it's going to make your life a living hell. You have to understand if people are not taking accountability for the things that they are doing, and this is just people in general, they are going to keep repeating those same things. Guys, we see it online all the time. When you ask uh, uh, women about their exes, they always say negative shit about them all the time, almost as if there's nothing that they did in the last relationship. But we as men know exactly the type of things that a lot of women out there do. Have you ever been in a relationship with a woman who, when the relationship is going smooth, everything is going well, out of nowhere, she just kind of brings up a conflict or there's some type of issue that gets her upset out of nowhere everything seems to be going fine and then all of a sudden she just finds something to complain about 
those are the type of women that you want to stay away from because they kind of thrive off of toxicity. And as much as some of you guys out there, especially the younger, uh, pretty much the younger men out there, say, oh, man, I, I love toxic women. I love you. You love them now. You love them now. That is that is how a lot of you guys think when you are younger. You like the toxic women. But I guarantee you when you are on your purpose and when you're on your goals, when you are trying to strive for something in life, that toxicity is going to hold you back. And some of you guys need to realize that the woman that you choose can drastically change your life. A good woman can change your life for the better. A toxic woman can make your life a, mis a, a living hell. That's why I, I thank God right now I don't have no baby mama. I don't have no baby mamas. Like the, if, if I'm going to be with a woman and I have a child with her, I want to make sure that is who I want to be with for the rest of my life. I do not want any baby mamas because that that one night that you have with her, everything, you know, it's feeling good in the moment. But all these red flags that you were you were ignoring is going to come back to bite you in the ass. I guarantee you. You got to stay away from women like this. You got to believe who they are when they are showing you who they are. Don't just ignore it because you don't want to be lonely. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. There's a reason why people say it. There's a reason why J. Cole says that. Some of them really don't want to change. Some of them will refuse to take any form of accountability because they want to stay the same. They don't want to change and they don't feel like they need to change for anybody. And you trying to be Mr. Captain save a -ho, I, 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 I will be there for you. I, I will treat you like a princess. I will, I will not treat you like your ex treated you. I, I, will, I will love you. I promise, my baby, my baby. Why do you have to do all that? Why do you have to overcompensate for something another dude did? That doesn't even make any fucking sense. Does that make sense to you? That you got to put in all this extra work and try to prove something to this girl because of something somebody else did, some, some other dude did? That makes no sense. And she shouldn't even be in a relationship if she hasn't resolved any of the issues that she still has. Stop trying to be Captain Save a hoe. And I'm not even necessarily saying that the girl you're with is a hoe, but it's more of don't try to change something that you're already seeing is there. If you're dating a woman and she has good morals, she's well behaved, she she acts right, she speaks right, she is feminine, um, she does things for you without you having to ask her, she is showing you who she is. Especially when she does things for you and you don't have to ask her, that is her showing you who she is. But if you're with somebody who's always complaining about something, creating problems out of nowhere, doesn't do any of the things that you have vocalized that you like unless you ask her all the time, she is showing you who she is. You will see the telltale signs. A lot of times guys just ignore them. And you can't ignore them. Don't try to be the, the boyfriend that overcompensates for something the last boyfriend did because, man, your life is going to be a living hell. It's going to get worse and worse and worse. And she's not going to see any fault in anything that she's doing because she has not taken any accountability for it. So please keep this in mind, guys. Don't try to just, you know, be with a woman who you already see might not even be right for you or may not fit into the standards that you have for yourself because you don't want to be lonely. It is not worth it. A woman, a woman can be a man's greatest downfall, but she can also be one of the best wing women that a man could ever have that can lead him to greater heights and greater success. That's why you have to choose wisely. And I'm, and I'm fortunate that I have learned from my mistakes and I accept a lot of women for who they are and who they show me they are because I'm at a point in my life where I don't even mind being by myself because there's so many things that I have planned for myself 
that I am currently doing, that I am striving for. I'm at a point in my life where I have to try to discipline my, myself not to have women over and not to be with so many women because now I know I have the options. You know, we, we get into certain stages in our life as men where we try to prove to ourselves, oh, I can get that girl, I can get this girl, I can sleep with this many women, blah, blah, blah. But once you get to that and once you do that, you now you have to start disciplining yourself to stay away from women and focus on the things that you need to focus on. Because a woman can easily get you off track if you are not careful. Women are the easiest distractions. And I'm not saying that you can't be with a woman and still chase your goals. You can still do that, but it depends on the type of woman that you are with. Because the type of woman that you're with can determine on how easy you can progress in life, how much she helps you, how much she supports you, and vice versa. Because if you are with the wrong woman, she can hold you back so bad. So please, when you are dating women, don't try to change them. Accept them for who they are. Because at the end of the day, these are the same women who, who these toxic tendencies that they have, they're going to bring it into the new relationship. That's how a lot of guys get cheated on. That's how a lot of guys have certain standards and morals for themselves that they ignore for certain women. And those are going to be the same women that break their hearts. Now, was it worth it? Was it really worth it? No. So stay to yourself. Focus on the shit that you need to focus on. And when the right woman comes and you feel like she is the right one. And this is the, the woman that I feel like can not only progress me in life, but fits within the standards that I am looking for in a woman. Then so be it. But your choice that you make is very important and can literally change your life forever. Dude, shooting up the club, having baby mamas, and these same baby mamas are ruining these guys' lives. Child support, all this shit. You're not seeing your kid, this and that. So many stories out here, bro. Because they wanted to ignore the red flags. Because they wanted to be a Captain save a hoe. Was it worth it? No. So if you are watching this video and you are currently finding yourself in this situation, use this as a sign and separate yourself immediately. Because this can be the one thing that can save you from making one of the biggest mistakes of your life. And that's pretty much it, brodies. That is pretty much it. Anyway, man, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe. Let me know in the comment section, uh, has, there any, uh, has there been any time that you have ignored certain red flags or you've obviously seen something from a woman, probably she's mentioned traumas and you tried to be the, the boyfriend who wanted to change her perspective and perception about men and it ended up going terribly. Like, let me know. Let me know some of these mistakes that you've made and say it in the comment section that way your fellow brethren doesn't make the same mistakes that we did. All right? But hope you guys enjoyed the video. You already know what it is. Bourbon Effect out. Peace out.